Bendeciré a Jehová en todo tiempo. Su alabanza en mi boca estará. En Jehová se gloriará mi alma. Lo oirán los mansos y se alegrarán. Bienvenidos una vez más, mis queridos hermanos y hermanas. Welcome, my dear Genesis family. I invite you at this moment to put aside all your thoughts, all your worries, and let us all together focus on our Lord. Enfoquémonos en nuestro Señor. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Oremos. Bendito Dios y Padre Celestial, alabado seas, Padre Eterno, Dios Todopoderoso. We worship you, Heavenly Father. You alone are God, God Almighty, loving God. Precious Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before you, asking you, Lord, to give us more and more of your Holy Spirit so that we may come closer and closer to Jesus. Señor, al venir ante tu presencia, recordamos a nuestros enfermitos. Te rogamos, Señor, que bendigas a todos nuestros hermanos y hermanas, familiares y amigos que están enfermos, Señor. Pon tu mano sanadora sobre ellos, te lo rogamos, Padre Eterno. Precious Lord and, and Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, for all these countries that are at war, Lord, We pray, Lord, that you will bring peace. Let there be peace, Lord, we pray. Padre eterno, te rogamos, Señor, que perdones nuestros pecados y nos laves más y más de nuestra maldad. Cleanse us, Lord, from all our sins, Lord. Sanctify us, Lord, more and more, so that every day will be a little bit more like Jesus. In his holy, beautiful name we pray. In Cristo Jesús. Amen. Queridos hermanos y hermanas, en este día vamos a escuchar la Palabra de Dios en el Evangelio de Mateo, capítulo 27, versículos 27 al 44. Let us listen to the word of the Lord in Matthew, chapter 27, verses 27 to 44. I invite you to focus, to pay close attention. Thus says the word of the Lord. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole garrison around him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they spat on him, and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to be crucified. Now as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, place of a skull, they gave him sour wine mingled with gall to drink. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Sitting down, they kept watch over him there, and they put over his head the accusation written against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and another on the left. And those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads and saying, You who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. 
likewise the chief priests also. Mocking with the scribes and elders said, He saved others. He himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross and we will believe. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he will have him. For he said, I am the Son of God. Even the robbers who were crucified with him reviled him with the same thing. Entonces los soldados del gobernador llevaron a Jesús al pretorio y reunieron alrededor de él a toda la compañía. Lo desnudaron y le echaron encima un manto de escarlata. Pusieron sobre su cabeza una corona tejida de espinas y una caña en su mano derecha. E hincando la rodilla delante de él se burlaban diciendo, ¡Salve rey de los judíos! Le escupían y tomando la caña lo golpeaban en la cabeza. Después de haberse burlado de él, le quitaron el manto. Le pusieron sus vestidos y lo llevaron para crucificarle. Al salir hallaron a, hallaron a un hombre de sirene, que se llamaba Simón. A este obligaron a que llevara la cruz. Cuando llegaron a un lugar llamado Gólgota, que significa lugar de la calavera, le dieron a beber vinagre mezclado con hiel. Pero después de haberlo probado, no quiso beberlo. Cuando lo hubieron crucificado, repartieron entre sí sus vestidos, echando suertes para que se cumpliera lo dicho por el profeta. Repartieron entre sí mis vestidos y sobre mi ropa echaron suertes. Y sentados lo custodiaban allí. Pusieron sobre su cabeza su causa escrita. Este es Jesús, el rey de los judíos. Entonces crucifica crucificaron con él a dos ladrones, uno a la derecha y otro a la izquierda. Los que pasaban lo insultaban meneando la cabeza y diciendo, Tú, el que derribas el templo y en tres días lo reedificas, sálvate a ti mismo. Si eres hijo de Dios, desciende de la cruz. De esta manera también los principales sacerdotes, junto con los escribas, los fariseos y los ancianos, se burlaban de él. Y decían, a otro salvó, pero a sí mismo no se puede salvar. Si es el rey de Israel, que descienda ahora de la cruz y creeremos en él. Confío en Dios, líbralo ahora si él quiere. Si le quiere, porque ha dicho, soy Hijo de Dios. Del mismo modo lo insultaban los ladrones que habían sido crucificados con él. This is the word of the Lord. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Precious Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son Jesus Christ. We thank you for his obedience to you. We thank you for his love for us. Thank you because he left everything in heaven for us. Gracias, Señor, por el gran amor que has tenido para tu gente, que has dado a tu Hijo, Jesucristo, para que en él, Señor, tengamos el perdón de nuestros pecados. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. He left his glory for you. Él dejó su gloria por ti. Has someone ever made fun of you, ridiculed you and embarrassed you in front of people? ¿Alguna vez se han burlado de ti, de tu familia, de un ser querido? Tal vez se han burlado de cómo te vistes, de cómo hablas, del color de tu piel, tu nivel económico, tu educación, tu fe. Have you ever been bullied? Do others pick on you? 
¿Conoces a alguien que haya experimentado bullying? ¿A alguien que molestaban, insultaban, no golpeaban? Were you ever physically hurt or watched others get hurt by bullies? Did you ever bully anyone? Humiliation takes away our honor, our dignity. It leaves us voiceless. It kills us little by little. Hoy leímos como Cristo fue humillado por los soldados romanos. ¿Qué significa la humillación de Cristo para nosotros? He was mocked, ridiculed, humiliated by the Roman soldiers. Why is Christ's humiliation significant for us? My dearly beloved, Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God, one with God and God Himself. Solo hay un verdadero Dios viviente que ha existido eternamente en tres personas, Dios Padre, Dios Hijo y Espíritu Santo. Cristo es la segunda persona de la Santísima Trinidad, el Hijo Unigénito de Dios Padre. He is the Word of God, the Living Word, the Word made flesh. He is the Messiah, the only Redeemer and Savior of God's people. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, el único mediador entre Dios y los hombres. La salvación se encuentra solamente en Él. He is the only way to God the Father. He is our prophet, priest, and king. El Espíritu de Dios mora en Cristo sin medida. The fullness of God dwells upon him. He shall come again to judge the living and the dead. Cristo vendrá otra vez a juzgar a los vivos y a los muertos. Amén. Out of love for you, for me, for his people, Jesus emptied himself of his own glory and took on the form of a servant. In becoming human, Christ humbled himself for our sakes. Siendo Dios, estuvo nueve meses en el vientre de María, nació como todo bebé pero en pobreza, vivió en este mundo lleno de odio, maldad, enfermedades, mugre y escasez. Vivió una vida de obediencia, servicio, pobreza y sufrimiento. Siendo Dios, fue golpeado, maltratado, humillado y clavado en la cruz. Yet, Christ's humiliation was voluntary. He left his glory in heaven for you and I, and became a human being, just like one of us. Yet, he remained God, fully human, fully God, completamente humano, completamente hombre, y completamente Dios. The Word of God says in Isaiah 53, regarding the Son of God. And when we see Him, there is no beauty that we should desire Him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from Him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. 
he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. And they made his grave with the wicked, but the rich had his death, because he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He was put, he has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Jesus had been flogged and beaten, and now he was being further humiliated. Para humillarlo aún más, los soldados romanos le pusieron un manto de escarlata, le dieron un cetro de caña y le pusieron una corona de espinas y burlándose se arrodillaron ante él, glorificándole como el rey de los judíos, haciéndole burla como el rey de los judíos. To humiliate him, they put a scarlet robe, a crown of thorns, and a scepter of reed, which then they used to beat him on the head. Then they made fun of him by kneeling. They actually knelt before him to mock him, saying, Hail, hail, King of the Jews! To further humiliate the Son of God, they nailed him to the cross. Along with other criminals, los soldados lo humillaron, también los que pasaban, los sacerdotes, los escribas, fariseos y los ancianos, también los ladrones a su lado. For further humiliation, they put a sign above him that said, King of the Jews. Él, siendo en forma de Dios, no estimó el ser igual a Dios como cosa que aferrarse, sino que se despojó a sí mismo, tomó la forma de siervo, Y se hizo semejante a los hombres. Más aún, hallándose en la condición de hombre, se humilló a sí mismo, haciéndose obediente hasta la muerte, y muerte de cruz. 
Por eso Dios también lo exaltó sobre todas las cosas y le dio un nombre que es sobre todo nombre para que en el nombre de Jesús se doble toda rodilla, toda rodilla de los que están en los cielos, en la tierra y debajo de la tierra. Y toda lengua confiese que Jesucristo es el Señor para la gloria de Dios Padre. And being found in appearance as a man, as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. Therefore, therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess, all those in heaven and all those on earth and those under the earth, should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He left his glory for you. Dejó su gloria por ti. Amén. May the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion power and protection of His Holy Spirit be upon you, upon your family, upon your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, and all your descendants. Que el amor de Dios, la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, sea contigo, con toda tu familia, con tus hijos, con tus nietos, con tus bisnietos, tataranietos y toda tu descendencia. May the Holy Spirit be upon all those that will worship Christ at the future building, at the future facilities of Genesis Presbyterian Church. Now and forever. Amen. Dearly beloved, Let me know that you've heard the sermon by leaving a like or a comment below. I also invite you to share God's word with others. How? By simply sharing each sermon every Sunday. I remind you that during Holy Week, we will gather at Obed's house on Thursday and at Dahlia's on Friday. Les daré más información sobre la Semana Santa la semana que viene. Que Dios les bendiga. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. And so do I. Hasta la próxima semana.